What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So, real quick, I wanted to do an update because uh, one of my videos that I did on this room has really done well. And I get a lot of questions on how the floor is holding up. So, the video that I'm talking about is my DIY plank floor and build uh, video. So in the comment section, someone asked me, how is the floor holding up? And so I figured I would make a video because it's kind of easier for me to show you how the floor is holding up versus me describing it. So I'm going to show you guys um, a few things. So let me show you the floor. Let me show you the floors. All right. So this is like the close-up of the edges. Nothing has peeled. And I need to do a little bit of sweeping. Now to clean this floor, sometimes I use a Swiffer. Sometimes I use my Shark vacuum cleaner. It all gets the job done. Now, okay, this is probably the high, high uh, traffic area. So the only one that kind of separated is right here and I ain't even tripping about it. You know why? Because it gives it that realistic look and it's really the only one that separated to that degree. You really, really can't tell when you're standing up. Don't look too bad. But yeah, all around the perimeters, everything is still nice and tight. Nice and tight. And what I did to get like this fake, um, this fake, uh, what do you call this, door, door jam or, but basically all I did was to take a piece of the flooring and I cut a strip this thick and I just laid it down and it looks like it's, uh, we're going to call it a door jam. <laughs> it might be the actual term, I just don't know for sure, I can't fact check myself, but as you can see here, it looks good. Yep, still looks good. <laughs> she did that. All right, so the next thing that I wanted to show you guys was like, okay, here's a stain. So this floor does get dirty, but all I do is take a Swiffer pad and it comes right up. So I'm going to show you that on camera so you can see. All right, so this is the stain here. And basically, you get to start take my Swiffer go over it a few times. This has been out for a while. So if it doesn't come up with this, then I usually use a magic eraser and it comes over no problem. And voila! As you can see, there's no more spots. So it's super easy to clean and um, just really low maintenance, actually. I like this floor a lot. Peel and stick, Home Depot. Get at it. This is a uh, oak. Oak taupe oak. Or oak taupe. I don't know. I have all the information in the description box below. So yeah, this is my flooring. If you guys have an ugly apartment floor, then this is an option. It will definitely take your space to the next level. This is, so this is um, the second video. If you guys haven't watched the transformation video of this room, then I will link that in the description box below. And also I have a full room tour coming. Of this room because it has changed a lot so I'm gonna update you guys on where everything is and let you know how much I pay for things cuz I got some deals yeah I got some deals and um, that is pretty much it that is pretty much all so if you're not already subscribed please subscribe and hit the bell notification next to the subscription button so that you'll know when I upload a video and if you like this video and you want to tell somebody, then share the video. I definitely appreciate it. Alright guys, always remember, be you, be beautiful, be chic on a budget, and I'll see you on the next upload. Bye guys.